sorry about that, but you know, mom life. actually why I'm getting a chance to film today. It's Mother's Day. So, um, like most, or hopefully most moms today, I have like a half an hour to myself as a gift for not having any time to myself any other day. Instead of doing nothing or wandering around spending money, I figured I would do a video because it's been a while and I found a really cute project. So I recently got into, um, succulent plants and I am not historically good at keeping uh, plants alive but I can keep them alive because if you forget to water them they're okay for a while and I found some cool seed packets on Amazon and while starting plants from seeds is not an endeavor that should be taken on by people who can't even keep regular plants alive for like two dollars I figured I'd try and surprisingly I've gotten some seedlings but the thing about succulents is they need to be in a humid container and when they outgrew the tiny little tackle box that I had them in I moved the first one into a regular open air container and it died so we can't do that uh, don't really want to buy a greenhouse so I got online like you do Pinterest and I found a way to make a DIY greenhouse out of picture frames, which might sound expensive until you realize the dollar store sells picture frames. So um, I have the receipt. I bought some other stuff too because I went into a store by myself. I think you need eight frames. I got two different versions because a dollar per frame. I think both of the versions take eight frames each, but they take different sizes. I think just the top is different. So like eight dollars and then if you wanted to, you probably have glue already, but if you needed to buy the rest of the stuff, I've got some all-purpose craft glue, which was like three uh, dollars. I got another glue gun. I think I got it at Target for like five bucks. And then um, the tutorials that I found have you taping the sides together while the glue dries, but I didn't know if I want to do that. So I got these twist ties. I thought they might work better. And even if they don't, I can use these, they're garden twist ties, so I can use them to, you know, prop up plants, because I'm also trying to grow a citrus tree. I don't know. I'm turning into my mom. So I got that, and then um, the one YouTube video I watched, she painted it with chalk paint. So I got this Walmart less than five dollars and some brushes these for me because I like them and these for my son because he'll probably end up all up in my project because half an hour for Mother's Day uh, so I'm going to I haven't tried it um, if I was a professional youtuber I probably would have done a, a practice run so it looks like I know what I'm doing but you know, it's not really the theme of my channel I'm going to move out of the studio where all the good light is into the crafty room where all of the bad light is and we'll try and do this together okay so um i've seen it two different ways uh, one where you paint them first and then assemble them with the glass in one where you assemble them without the glass in and then paint it and then put the glass in i think trying to assemble it with the glass in is a recipe for me breaking stuff so I'm gonna go the other direction and see if it works. Two eight by tens, two five by sevens, and four four by sixes. And the dollar store that I went to had these really plain frames, but when I went to get eight by tens, they only had these weird filigreed ones. So hopefully that won't matter. Although now that it's out, I'm doubting its structural integrity. But you can take the backs out. I don't think you're going to need them. Okay, screwdrivers are good for getting these little pins up. Screwdrivers. It's probably a little bigger than necessary, but whatever. So you just pop them up. Be really careful not to break the glass. Doesn't matter if you damage this 
Don't stab yourself. Ow! Nail down! Don't stab yourself in the heart. Don't break a nail. Pop this out. Take the paper out. Toss them. I'm not gonna make you watch me do that eight times. What? So, um... Ow. Using these, I've yanked all of these metal things out. Well, Well, hot glue dries before I get it all the way across, because I'm slow. family came back so it got kind of loud and I didn't really want to talk through everything because it's weird talking to yourself in a room full of people um, but I uh, found some hit or misses the hot glue in theory is great except that it dries really fast and I don't know if it's just because my hot glue guns cheap but by the time I got the strip all the way across and went to put the frames together some of it was already dry enough to the point where it was hard and it would separate the frames so they wouldn't squish flush together so I took the E6000 600 whatever glue and put that down and then twisty tied it but it wasn't it that takes about 72 hours to cure completely and I have no patience so what I ended up doing after I got that initial stuff together and let it sit for about 20 minutes I went back and I'm gonna paint it anyway so it doesn't really matter I ran hot glue down into can you see into the seams. So that'll hold it together while I paint. Probably not what you're supposed to do, but whatever. So I'm gonna give it a couple more minutes and then I'm gonna paint it. I left it dry overnight. After I finished painting everything, I just did, I don't really remember where I left off yesterday. I should have watched that. I did a line of my craft glue on the inside edges where the glass lays, put it in, and then did let it sit for a minute, and then I did um, hot glue to kind of seal it in, so it even if the other glue lets go, it won't the glass won't fall out. And then to get the roof pitch correct, I had hot glue beads up on the top where it's gonna sit, that kind of like grippies. So I was able to set the frames up on the top without them being glued and they didn't slide and then I just layered on glue and then uh, tilted it up in between these two things and put glue on the inside and now it's done. I might put cellophane here just to keep the humidity up otherwise it kind of defeats the purpose. But pretty pleased with it. Not a big fan of the roof, but the other version I have has a different roof, so I'll try to make that video whenever I get a chance again. And this video was kind of choppy because the family came home, so if you have questions, leave them in the comments, and I will either address them in the comments, or if it's something more complicated, I will um, address them in the next video, which I will do.